as the holding midfielder, uh, also Casador, but you had both uh, Christensen and Eric on the bench. Who has the highest options to end up being the starting uh, holding midfielder? Uh, Casado, Bernal, Eric, um, Christensen, this wa was this one your last test? No, it, it's not a test. It's, it, was, it was a very important match for us. So um, also to start, to start with, uh, with three points in the season, it's, it's, uh, it's really good. And uh, also the team, I think they deserved it uh, because of the second half. But at the end, it's, it's like we had a preseason. It was not so easy because uh, many players came from the Euro, from Olympic Games, and uh, so. But uh, I have to say, the young players from La Masia, they they really did it well in the preseason, also today. And this is uh, this is the point. Um, they increase a lot. So the the six uh, six weeks we we trained with them, and uh, they deserved it today to, uh, today to play. Marta. Hola, mister, aquí al darrere. Uh, Marta Ramon en directe a, a Racu. Et vull preguntar per una persona que avui no és aquí, un jugador que, que no ha viatjat, que és Gundogan, que s'ha quedat a Barcelona. Eh, heu parlat de futur, pots assegurar que es quedarà a l'equip aquesta temporada? Uh, Gundogan has stayed in Barcelona. Have you talked to him about his future and can you assure that he will be in the team this season? Yes, it was. It was uh, today was like, you know, it's an, on Monday, uh, he had the cut here and he has some problems uh, with that because um, so we, we take the decision to, to leave him at home. And it's true, I, I spoke with him. I spoke with him and um, yeah, I spoke just uh, to know how we, how we feel here. How it's, uh, I know him very well. I uh, really I uh, appreciate about what, what, he is, what kind of player he is and uh, also as a person. Uh, we, we spoke about everything, but it's not for you, it's for, just for us. And uh, so I've, I have the feeling that he, he will stay. Elena. Hi, Hansi, here. Hello. Elena Condis, Cadena Cope. La Miña Mal has been cheered by the stadium, by Mestalla. What do you think about this reaction and about La Miña Mal? Thank you. No, Lamil, Lamil is a fantastic player, so he's very important for us, I think. Um, today, it's uh, a lot of things we have to do better, we have to, uh, but it's uh, the beginning of the season, so it's also have something to do with, uh, we have with the confidence we have and, and we have to create. And with, th with these three points, I think um, it's much better than for, for us. Uh, I can see it also in the dressing room, uh, everyone is, uh, knows that. We know it today that uh, it's a big fight. You know, the stadium, uh, the fans, and also Valencia did it really well. Uh, but we fight, and we accept that, and, and uh, there was a high intense match. And uh, at the end, I think we, we deserve these three points. Adrià. Hola, mister. Adrià Albets, en directo para el Carrusel Deportivo de la Cadena Ser. I would like to know, uh, why did you choose Rafinha to play today uh, behind Robert Lewandowski in different position, and if you see also Lamin Yamal playing on this position, no, we, this is this is also an option. Could could be. No? Um, I think both uh, Lamin and uh, and Rafa can play many positions on in in front, um, and at the moment, um, it's it's also for us necessary that that we. We also find solutions for for positions, and um, so when we did like like in the second half, then I'm I'm fine with that, and um, so this is what we have focus for the next for the next week. So we have a, a whole week to prepare well for for the next match, and um, it will be also a tough tough game, but we have three points. I think it's uh, it's good to good to go to the next step. Paul. Sí. Hi. Hola, uh, Hansi Paul Bayur for, for The Athletic. I wanted to ask you, because like eight out of the 16 players that you used in the game were from La Masia of, or have played in La Masia. Um, I don't know how you assess that and if that sort of changes your plans ahead of the week re remaining of the transfer window. Um, it's, like, it's like how many... Uh, uh, 
I, I don't care about that, you know. I don't care about that. Is a, is a uh, player from from La Masia. Uh, this is what, what I what I spoke about also in the preseason. It's um, it's really yeah. It's great to have this player here and, and with this quality. And uh, you can see today um, what the players are doing. So um, yeah, it's it's um, it's fantastic. Yeah, to have this and and helps us a lot in this uh, yeah in the beginning of the season. Última pregunta. Hi, Mr. Flick here, Nacho Sanchez de Relevo. Uh, just to insist about what my partner uh, asked you before, about the fact that here with uh, plenty uh, of fans from Valencia here in Mestalla cheer up uh, La Minja Mal, how do you think about that? Because it no, it's not very normal that here in Spain uh, the opposite fans uh, to cheer uh, a player when he leaves the pitch. Thanks. No, but, but, La, La Minja is, is, um, is a great player and I think uh, everyone loves to see him playing football and, and uh, this is I think this is uh, the success of him and, and why all, all, all the yeah, you can say all the world uh, likes him to, to see him uh, playing football. Gracias, Juanit. Okay, Juanit.